Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of days I've been doing some boil tests on these stoves that I got from Colorado Camper. This one was called his hybrid stove, hybrid side burner stove. And this is one that was similar to it, except I called it a low pressure because it used larger jets instead of the pinholes like on this one. I got a comment from Colorado Camper where he said, Hiram, I made the stove, meaning this one, uh, I made the stove hoping that the lower pressure would not shoot the flames out as far. I was trying to make a side burner that would work well with narrower pots, pots, because the small jets send flames up the sides of my small pots, like the GSI Minimalist. So I thought what I'd do today, I had, did test on this before using my Boy Scout type pot, which has a rather wide base. But this time, I'm going to do a boil test on both of the stoves using my GSI uh, Minimalist cup. See the difference as far as the diameters there? Uh, so I'll do boil tests on these just like that. Except what I'm going to do in this one is you're going to have to take my word for it that I start the tests at uh, 60 degrees. I want to try to save a little time since I'm doing two boil tests here. I won't do the startup of each one. You'll, Like I said, you'll just have to take my word for it. But I'll get some water prepped, do the first test on the uh, first the hybrid stove with the smaller jets, see what the boil time is like on the GSI, and when it runs out, and then I'll do the other one once everything cools off. So let me go get my water prepped, get some alcohol in here, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, here we are two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to, wow, it's jumping. I think it was like 106 or 7 when it uh, hit two minutes. Uh, I think you can see here, whoa, that's close. The flames are going up the side of the pot. This is the one with the uh, pinhole jets. So like Colorado Camper said, the flames are going up the side of the pot. I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing. Uh, thermodynamics aren't exactly my forte, but what I was always taught was that heat radiates, but that cold sucks. So as the heat goes up the side of the pot, boy is it going over there. As the heat goes up the side of the pot, the cold sucks it in and helps change you know, the temperature of the water. But wow, that's really taken off for some reason. Maybe just because my hand's moving around. Okay, so let's see how long it takes for this to get to boiling. Okay, there we have 210, 211, oops, 211, 212, and 614, 6 minutes, 14 seconds. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, uh, three quarters of a fluid ounce or 25 milliliters of methanol, and the water came to a boil at 212 degrees Fahrenheit in 6 minutes, 14 seconds. Let's see how long it takes for a run out. Okay, there's the flame is going, going, gone. Let's say it's 658. Okay, so that was two cups of water to a boil in six minutes, 14 seconds. And out again at 654. Let me get this all rearranged here for the other burner, and I'll do another test. Be right back. Here we are two minutes into the test with the low pressure side burner. The temperature was up to about 105 degrees. It's, for some reason it's going up and down. Uh, I think you can see that, oops, maybe my finger does it, but you, most of the time here the flames weren't really going up the side of the pot like they were on the, the pinhole test, the high pressure test. But it seems like when I wave it a little bit then it goes up. But normally it just kind of goes to the edge of the pot and maybe a little bit up the side. So let's see how long it takes for this to get to a boiling and then to run out. There we have 210, 211, 212, and 659. 
By that time that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 6 minutes 59 seconds. Uh, let's see how long it takes for this to go to run out. Okay, there we're going, going, and gone in 7.53. Hmm, this is very confusing. Okay, let me go back to camera one. Okay, I'm at camera one now. I'm not sure what to make of these numbers. Let me get this pot off of here. Need new gloves one of these days. Okay, that's off there. Okay, let's do go through some of the numbers here. On this test with the GSI pot using the high pressure, what I call the high pressure, the one that has the pinhole jets, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 6 minutes 14 seconds and ran out in 6 minutes 54. Hmm. On the first test, when I used this with the Boy Scout pot, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 5 minutes 54 seconds. So it took maybe, what's that, 18 seconds longer on this one with the GSI pot. But with the Boy Scout pot, it ran out in 8 minutes 30 seconds rather than the 6 minutes 54. So it cut out about a minute and a half early. Not sure what that's from. On the low pressure one, this is still a little warm. On the low pressure one, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 6 minutes 59 seconds. That's only what, uh, 45 seconds longer than this. So not too bad. You saw on when I was showing you the close up of the flames. With this burner, they did go up the sides of the pot somewhat. With this burner, they really didn't, just like Colorado Camper said. But, again, I'm not sure if that matters. Like I said, the bit about heat radiates and cold sucks. As the heat comes up the side of the pot, if it's cold, it'll suck some of that heat in. Uh, anyway, on the first test that I did with this, with the Boy Scout pot, it took 60 degrees, starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil in 7 minutes 9 seconds versus uh, 6 minutes 59 seconds now. So that's only about 10 seconds longer that this took with a GSI versus the Boy Scout pot. But on the Boy Scout pot test, this ran out at 9 minutes 38 seconds. Today with the GSI, it ran out in 7 minutes 35 or 53 rather. So that's almost a minute and a half shorter as far as burn time. Hmm. I would have said that the aluminum pot would reflect more of the heat back, but maybe the aluminum pot absorbed the heat better so it didn't bounce back onto this and it ran a little bit cooler. Maybe the GSI being a thicker material the specific heat and stuff of this would be a whole lot different than the aluminum. Even though this is aluminum, it's an anodized, or as they call it, halulite, but it's an anodized aluminum. So, very interesting. Don't know what it means. Um, as far as the two burners go, I would say this would probably be easier to make with the... the uh, paper clip punch holes in it. Just looking to see if it's getting a little bent here. They did get a little crushed in the box when I got them. The, you know, the postal service. So, I'm not sure what this proves, but just going along with what Colorado Camper said, the low pressure was mainly so that the flames didn't shoot out so far and get wasted out in the air. But, I thank Colorado Camper for sending me some of his DIY stoves. I'll leave links down below. You really got to check out his videos and his site. He's got cool stuff there. But I thank him. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max.
Bye now.